Okay, guys, we're going to do um, a simple program where the user will be able to input information at the keyboard uh, that will influence the output of our program. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create uh, a program called Sales Tax. Um, so right away, file, save as sales tax dot java which means I have a public class called sales tax with a main method now if I want to get input from the keyboard what's that class we learned to import Scanner, right? So the first thing I need to do right away is import java.util.scanner. That's the first step to getting input from the keyboard. Now, what we're going to do is ask a user for the amount of a purchase. So I will go ahead and have a couple variables here. The first thing I want to do is instantiate a scanner object. So I'm going to go and create a scanner. I'm going to call it keyboard. And that's how we create a keyboard object. Uh, well, it's a scanner object named keyboard. And this is going to be the object that lets us get input from the keyboard uh, from our end user. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of uh, taxes. We're going to do a state tax and a county tax um, that will give totals for us once we ask how much is an item. How much is the item? Then this is your total with uh, state tax. This is your total with county tax. And then the total sale with both of them added together. So I'm going to have a double variable called state tax, which is 4% or 0.04. I'm going to have a double variable for the county tax. Which uh, is two percent for the county, and then I'm going to create a double for the total, which is going to we're going to do a calculation here. So in this area, we are declaring our variables that we're going to use. Now we're going to obtain input from the user, in which case we will ask system.out.println. What was the total? I spelled print wrong. Thank you. What was the total? Um, amount of your purchase. If you run out of room, notice how I break this up with a plus sign. What was the total amount of your purchase? And we'll assign the total variable equal to keyboard dot next double and that will basically prompt the user to enter a number and it can be either a decimal number or if they just type a whole number it'll be available to have a decimal but it doesn't have to so if they type a whole number you're okay now we can do our calculations And I'm 
we can assign the total equal to the current value of total plus the current value of total times state tax plus the current value of total times county tax. Don't forget your semicolon. So let's assume the user enters $10. We are now saying the new total is equal to the $10 plus $10 times 4% plus $10 times 2%. Now if we output system out print line your total after tax is plus total. Now just taking a glance at the program I see that it also wants me to output the county sales tax and the state sales tax. So I did those calculations here. Um, we left off a couple things of output. Um, so we can go back and quickly modify this. I'll create another double called total state tax and a double total county tax and I'm gonna rework my calculations here so the total state tax is equal to the total times state tax. The total county tax is equal to the total times county tax. And then we're going to reassign the total equal to the current total plus the two total taxes. Alright, so if I clean this up here, just make it look a little bit nicer. Now I can output the total state tax and the total county tax as well. The total state tax is plus total state tax whoops copy that the total county tax total county tax. Now if I run this, compile it and run it, it'll ask me what is the total amount of the purchase. I'll say $10. 4% of $10 is 40 cents. 2% of $10 is 20 cents. 
So the total after tax is $10.60.